one money question over here, right? Like if you are having these, one of these engineers watching right now, what would you say are like one, two or three actionable steps that somebody can take towards, like specifically for somebody who's working remotely towards their career development? What are some three actionable things that they can do? Well, they, I mean, first they need to know whether or not they're interested in moving to the next level or whether or not they're, they, they even see themselves as staying in the track that they're on. So, you know, you don't have to be at the next level of SDE. You can become a solution architect. You can become a data engineer. There are so many wonderful directions. You could start getting into ML. You don't have to stay on the track you're on. And so you should know kind of generally whether or not it's making you happy or not. Um, I don't think management and TPM are the only two directions. You know, software developers are becoming product managers now. You know, there's a lot of really cool directions you can take. But if you are interested in getting to the next level, you need to know what the qualities are and the, you know, the skills and the expectations. And you need to talk to your manager to make sure that they are aware that this is something you want. If you don't have that conversation, you have no idea whether or not the things you're working on are next level appropriate. At least if you have the conversation with your manager, you can clarify, is this project something that would be considered executing at the next level? And if they say no, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It may be that there's work to be done and it's not available right now, but it gives you a little bit more power to have a conversation and be more targeted. And then the other thing you do need to do is you have got to start writing down what you're doing. I think that in technology companies, we reorg all the time and every manager change sets your career development back. And it's already a remote situation. And so you need to be really clear about what it is that you're accomplishing. And if that means over communicating a bit, whether it's writing weekly status reports or biweekly, don't just assume the manager is even paying attention to your check-ins or whether or not your code reviews are constructive or, you know, you're screwing up. 